everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again and thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you my people we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country amid international criticism buhari takes new decision on twitter ban very interesting we all know that uh, president Mohammed buhari has received criticism from all across not just um, um within nigeria but outside the country as well the international community has um raised concern regarding buhari's um, recent um, decision over twitter ban very shocking no one has ever seen that happen in any country also, the international community has asked President Mohamed Buhari to at least provide um, the law backing his recent action because you can't take away the rights of the people. Freedom of speech is um, part of um, democracy. We are not in a military regime. If it's a military regime, no one will be asking questions. Military regime, whatever um, the, the dictator says, that is what um, uh, um, goes. But we are not under a military, except that something is hiding. It should come out open and state to the whole country that you know what, it's not um, democracy, it's actually military. We, we thought we were free from military. But all Buhari has been doing of late, it all points that um, it's still, it's military rule. No compassion, no sympathy, everything is forced he cannot address the people he can't dialogue he can't speak to the people he can't even um act, allow the people to express their their concerns hashtag answers um nigerians raised concerns that um police brutality it's enough is enough but um even after the hashtag answers we still see that um, police brutality has not stopped it has not ended the uh hashtag answers was silenced Somehow they use thugs to infiltrate the pro uh, the protest. Um, um, thugs hijack the protest, and they use that that avenue to just uh, um, shut the protest down. Sadly, they killed innocent citizens as well. Up to date, no one has been held accountable for that massacre. No one has been held accountable. Well, Buhari thinks that uh, Nigeria is just standing on its own. He forgets that whatever he does, regardless of he he shuts uh, Twitter. It still goes out. The social, other social media platforms are still there. The news will go out. Nigerians cannot be shot. They cannot keep quiet. Enough is enough. We can't continue to keep quiet. As a matter of fact, even um, when Twitter itself reacted to the ban by President Mohamed Buhari, one of the questions they put out there was that uh, Buhari should uh, um, provide the law that is backing his action. Because what they know very well is that the same rights citizens have offline that same right should apply online as well. That it should not be different. And now you know very well that uh, Buhari's cabinet, Buhari himself, they are incompetent. All of them surrounding him, Malami, the chief of staff, all of them, they are very incompetent. It's such a shame that um, they will drag the country down in this manner and nature. Surprisingly, the country is burning. Insecurity is soaring day by day. It's rising. And all Buhari is concerned about is Twitter. It's, it's very it's very sad it's very sad very very sad the, the kind of poor leadership no wonder you know people are asking how did we get here how did it get this bad we are seeing it right now that is uh, these guys are incompetent they don't even know what to do they feel they can just wake up just because buhari was criticized for attacking uh um um Igbos, for putting out a hate speech out there towards Igbos. you know twitter brought down that uh, um tweet then they just rose up and they are lying right now that um, it's because um, um, Twitter is being used to spread fake news. They should shut down YouTube as well. If they can, they should shut down WhatsApp because Nigerians will continue to speak. Anyway, because of um, all of the criticism that Buhari has received and the questions from the international community as well, he has just taken a new uh, um, step. He's, he's made a U-turn. We'll bring you all of the details shortly, but before we do, guys, please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Thank you once again. The recent decision by the federal government to ban the operation of microblogging platform Twitter in the country has met so much criticism. Recall that the Minister for Information, Lai Mohammed, announced on Friday the ban on the social media network. This has drawn the attention of international community who refer to the act as an infringement 
of people's right to freedom of speech and access to information. Even though the Minister of Information stated during his previous announcement on Friday said the ban was indefinite. The federal government has suspended indefinitely the operations of the micro-blogging and social networking service Twitter in Nigeria. But recent report emerging states that the ban on Twitter was temporary according to a statement by President Mohamed Buhari spokesman Gabashel. This is coming after so many rights groups like Amnesty International, countries like the UK and US frowned at the decision. According to a statement for President Buhari spokesman Gabashel, the temporary suspension of Twitter is not just a response to the removal of President Buhari's post. There has been a litany of problems with the social media platform in Nigeria where misinformation and fake news spread through it have had real-world violent consequences. All the while, the company has escaped accountability, he said. These guys are born liars. You know, that is why that name, even Lai Mohammed, you know, Nigerians refer him refer to him as him, Lai, Lai Mohammed. Right now, they are turning things around. Gabashehu himself, part of it, all of them, they are stating right now that uh, um, it's not because Twitter brought down President Mohammed Buhari's um, tweet. That is why they place a ban. That is because fake news um, go, is being spread on Twitter. What is the fake news? That Buhari's government is bad. So to them, it's fake news. That Buhari um, is incapacitated is bad. Those are the fake news. What are the fake news? Let's ask these guys. They should point out the fake news that people are dying on a daily basis. Kidnapping, insecurity is soaring, is rising. Those are the fake news they are talking about. That corruption has taken all over the country. That is the fake news they are claiming. They don't want anyone to hear what is going on. God, we, God, the, the judgment of God will come upon all of these wicked leaders. Lai Mohammed's statement came clearly that federal government has indefinitely, indefinitely suspended the operation of microblogging social network services, Twitter in Nigeria. Right now, Gabashew is taking a turn that um, um, that was not how they put it, that they stated that it was a temporary suspension. Their earlier statement stated indefinitely. That means forever, it could be forever. But right now, they are changing it, they are turning it around after um, the international community has condemned President Mohamed Buhari's action. Nigerians will continue to speak. You know, after they placed this ban, Nigerians did not stop. The news was spreading everywhere. That was what drew the international community into all of this. And Buhari right now, he's looking for where to put his head, has uh, rephrased the, 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 the statement that it's um, temporary. Shame on all of them. Well, guys, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.